Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the video. Ki hal chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this, we're going to see a problem. Maximum candy is allocated to K children. Now, a very quick spoiler alert. So, previously, we had seen one of the binary search templates where we are trying L is less than R. But here, I will again ask the request of folks. I'm giving you much, much, much easier binary search template, which we have been using recently. But obviously, we didn't have that thing in Crash Course. So, I'll replace that binary search template in the crash course and now in the crash course you will see a new binary search template again i'll in the description i will point this video as well but still, this is a new one which is much easier because here you just assume answer and then you move uniformly it is not 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 uniform cool so this is what we'll consider from now on again this is just a spoiler alert. now coming on back to the problem let's see what it says it says that you are given a zero index integer array candies where each element in the array denotes the pile of candies of size this. So you have, you know, multiple candies and imagine that you have a pile, pile of having five candies, right? Then another pile of having eight candies and so on and so forth. Now your task is divide each pile into any number of sub piles. I can divide each pile again. Make sure that this is one pile divide to any number of sub piles. It can like, for example, I have five candies, so I can divide it to one, two, and let's say two. So this is one such division, or it can be two or three, or it can be one or four, any, any possible division you can do. That's the liberty. Okay. But you cannot merge two piles together, which means that if I have a pile of five and a pile of eight, if I, let's say, divide the pile of eight as well, let's say, you know, four and then four, I cannot merge this four and this, let's say one. No, one pile will remain as is. So you can just imagine a pile with a different color altogether. You are also given an integer K. This is a K integer which is given to you. And you should allocate piles of candies to K children such that each child gets the same number of candies. Okay, so that is the biggest condition that I have to divide these candies to you know all my k children and along with making sure that each pile get the same so each child get the same number of candies so obviously you have to give the maximum number of candies which you can give to each child let's take a better example although we can take this example as well you know quickly if i check if i take this example i realize that i have to give to three children so firstly make three blocks just by imagining i'm saying make three blocks then your task is to get maximum number of child but the condition is that all of them should get equal number of candies. So obviously, I can try, you know, getting eight maximum eight candies. But if I give eight to them, then okay, obviously the other two cannot get eight. So maybe I can try seven candies. I can give uh, seven to him. Other I, I cannot give. I can try six candies. Yes, I can give six candies. The first child, six to the next child. But again, third one will be empty. Let's try five. Okay, I can give five candies to the first child, five to the next child. You know, five to the first child. 5 to the next child and 5 to the next child. Yes. And again, yeah, 3 will be left, three, uh, 1 will be left here, but still, I can still will be able to give 5 candies to 3 children and that is the maximum number of candies which I can give. Did you see the thought process here? How we did, how we went about it? We will see it, but yeah, answer is 5. Same way here, we had 11 children. We had 11 children, but we only had 2 candies. So it's as in like, you know, we have just these two although i can divide you can say Arin, i can give one one candies yes you can give Arin, i can give one one candies you know one 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 five times and this two times but max to max i can give seven candies but he's requiring me 11 folks i don't have 11 candies so answer is zero you know everyone will get zero candies so what did we do actually we just firstly realized that okay we have some candies and we have some k Obviously, my task was that every child I have in place, he should get equal number of candies. So one thing is that, okay, all of them should get equal number. Now, when to, re to represent equal number, I have put a bar here that all of them should reach this bar of equal candies. Now, let's come on back. So obviously, you will try to give the maximum number of candies which you can give, which is in this case, seven. Obviously, you can give seven candies. Again, there's a condition. You cannot combine other candies. So obviously, this one, one such pile of seven candies, you will just maybe, maybe try, you can try that I will give this entire pile. Okay, if you give the entire pile of seven, let's see what happens. So you will give, let's say, uh, seven to one child. This is gone. Then what? You will try to give seven to the next child, but you don't have it. Okay, you are screwed up. 
then try for a smaller value. Smaller value is six. Can I give six? Uh, let's see. Okay, six I can give. Okay, uh, this is this person is gone. Then I cannot give six because no one actually has more than six, six candies, more than equal to six, six candies. So I'm also put up here as well. Okay, so let's try for five. I can give five. Yes, I can give five. Okay, but again, I don't have any other uh, you know candies which have more than five. So I'm again put up. Let's try for four. Can I give four? Yes, I can give four. So when I give four, from here I have seven candies. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven. So I just took four out. I am only left with three, which means from this seven, I can only give to one child four candies. That's it. Other three are remaining, but they are technically wasted because I cannot use them with any other candies. That's one caveat here. Okay. So I have to waste them. Okay. I'll, I'll just simply throw them out. But here I have again got four. So I'll just put up four here, you know, take all of them. But then again, I want the other child to have four candies, but I cannot take. Ah, okay, that's an issue. No worries. Okay, we'll try for smaller value, which is three. So I'll try for three, three candies. If I try for three candies, I just ask this guy, this guy. Again, you can ask any guy whatsoever, but I'm just taking this guy because we have been taking this guy only. So what we have? Okay, we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Obviously, I want, sorry, it is six. So I just put it up one, seven. Yeah, we only want three candies, right? So I can give three candies, but still I have three candies left. Okay, I'll give it to the next child. And then one candy left. Okay, one candy, I cannot use any anywhere because I cannot club the candies with anyone. So, okay, this is gone. So, okay, he gave me two people. My two children are satisfied, right? Okay, then this one. Oh, this one also can satisfy one child. And again, one candy will be remaining, but one is kind of wasted now. But you can satisfy one more child. Awesome. So, Yes, this is the first, this is the first maximum number of candy, which I can actually distribute equally in three children. Even if K would have been four, still the answer would have been three as the maximum number of candies, which I can distribute. So that is your answer. Three is actually your answer here. And did, did you see what you did? Obviously you went ahead with trying for maximum number of candies. Now you tried for the maximum value, which is seven in this case. And then you came down six, five, four, three, two, one. And obviously in this case, it was not possible, not possible, not possible, not possible. Yes, possible. And obviously as we go on to lesser candies, obviously it will be possible to distribute in more than K children, more than equal to K children. So what I mean, you are doing a linear search. What is the pattern? This, this is the pattern of binary search that if you're doing a linear search like this, obviously in the worst case, you will have to go through the entire, uh, you know, entire all the possible options and how many options you can have what is what, whatever is the maximum value of my piles and if i just look at it my piles maximum value can be 1e7 so this is nothing but 1e7 but for each and every possible variation you know let's say if i say okay i will try for six candies i went ahead and tried to see how many children i can cater and how, how i did that i simply checked the value of my candies of i and try to divide it with the current let's say when i was at three so i said that three is the required three is the required number of candies i want so with three candies and seven as the you know with three as the value required value of maximum candies and seven as the number of candies allowed how many children i can cater it will be nothing but seven by three which is two so he can cater he can cater two children he can cater four by three, which is one child. He can cater three by three, which is one child. So addition of them is four children. I can cater four children. I only required, I was only required to cater three. So yeah, I am good. So if, if the count, if the count of people you can, you know, cater is more than equal to K, then you are good. So technically to find out how many people you can cater, which means, which means to get the count, you have to iterate on it, you know, iterate on the entire candies array which is the entire piles which you have. So it will take again O of n time. So linear search doing 1 e7 and then for each linear search maximum option, you have to do a normal check, you know, can distribute check. You'll have to do checks O of n time. And obviously we know this is a standard pattern of binary search in which if we have a pattern like, you know, wrong, 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 wrong and right, 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 right. Which means that 
we want to find the first person who can give me the right. Again, it can be anyways, it can be right, 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 wrong, 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 wrong as well, right? And we just want to find the first person. And again, it can be the sorted, sorted way as well that things are increasing, things are increasing and then decreasing, things are increasing and, you know, uh, things are maybe flat and then increasing. So they can be multiple ways, but this is exactly where binary search can be applied. Now we have one such way that we can do a binary search here. And again, as soon as you got onto a mid, you will simply realize, okay, should I move left or right? Obviously I cannot, in this case, I cannot let you move left, so I'll move right and so on and so forth. Cool. And this is how exactly you will go about and do a binary search. When you do a binary search, you will not do a linear search, which means you would do a binary search on this entire length of 27. So answer will be log of this value now. But again, can distribute will still be valid, which is O of N. So this is how you will go about it. So your time complexity will turn out to be from again, from linear search, which is O of N into 27. Let's take it as capital M, you know, maximum value of your piles array. You will now come back to your O of N log of M. Again, M is the maximum value in your distributed array. Now, I'll do a very quick dry run uh, with the help of binary search. So as you mentioned, the minimum value of our piles will be one, you know, minimum value of our maximum candies can be one, which I can distribute. And the maximum value in this case will be seven, which I will have, cool. And obviously, as we mentioned that how to get seven, because obviously I know that beyond seven, if the maximum value itself is seven, I cannot take any other value. And again, why I took the maximum value as seven? Because maybe, okay, all the values are seven. Then obviously I will be able to cater my remaining children. So again, obviously try for the maximum value. Now, obviously binary search says that find the mid. Mid is seven plus one by two, which is eight by two, which is four. Okay, I'll try for four. Can I place four candies? How will I go about it? I'll just simply go and have a check. I'll iterate on this and I will say that four is the maximum candies which I'm trying to place. So how many children I can cater, right? What is the count? So initially count as zero. So I'll just say four divided by four. Okay, four by four plus three by four plus seven by four plus two by four. So I can cater one child. I can cater no child. I can cater one child. I can cater no child. So answer is two. I can cater two children. I require three. This is not a valid configuration. If this is not a valid configuration, I cannot go higher. So this entirely is discarded. I will go lower. Okay. I will go lower. When I go lower, I will simply say that now my high becomes, you know, my high becomes four. And this is now, sorry, this is now discarded. Now let's see that what is a mid now. Mid will say that four plus one by two, which is nothing but five by two, which is two. So now you have two. Okay. When you have two, then again, okay, let's discard this array. Yeah. Now you have two. Let's cater. Let's see how, how, many students I can cater with two as the maximum of candies which I, which I, which I can get. I will say four by two plus three by two plus seven by two plus two by two. This will give me two children. This will give me one. This will give me three. This will give me again uh, one. So three, four, five, six, seven, seven I'm getting. And again, this is the corresponding count. And obviously this count is more than equal to my K. Then okay. It's a happy case. Happy case, which means this is the happy case. So when this is the happy case, so far, I can easily say that two is for sure, at least can be the answer. So my answer will put up to be two. So two can be the answer. Obviously I will try with a higher value, but now two can be the answer. Now I will go ahead. Now, when I say, I will simply go ahead. I'll simply say, okay, bro, uh, let's see what we will do. Now, there's a quick um, thing that, uh, what did we exactly do here? You know, when you were saying that, uh, you had this specific array and let's say you had low and high. Now in the low and high, uh, you just say, okay, I just thought the I'll try for this mid and this mid didn't work out, right? If this mid didn't work out, technically, isn't it uh, obviously for sure that this mid is never the value, then you should always try for a lesser value, which means here, you know, your initial mid, if, if I just tell you your initial mid, uh, you like initial, your initial low was this and your high was this. This is obviously your bid. Now you tried for this mid. It didn't work out, right? It didn't work out and it didn't give you the corresponding answer. But then to find out your next, you obviously put your high range like this. If you remember in the last step, which I did. But if you think that isn't it unnecessary to put up this high range, because if you put up this high range, then you're assuming that your answer is in the low to high. But I obviously tried my high to be 
four, which was earlier, which means I obviously tried four as a value. So it is never the answer. So it is always good to to try for a value of high, which is mid minus one, right? If again, if the value doesn't satisfy, and with that, with that, my mid, my technically in the previous step, my high should have been a three. And again, this is kind of a pruning logic, which is I want to focus on, and this is nothing but exactly what we are trying to focus from the earlier approach of binary search. So this is the binary search approach which we discussed previously by, while LS less than R. But here we will try to have a new approach where we are moving right one step back. Again, this helps us just you know to again ultimately complexity wise is still same, but it is easier to write code. But again, a bit tricky to understand. That's the reason I'm just trying to explain here. Now. Coming on back, if I just say three plus one by two again, the mid will be two. So the logic is still same. The like the uh, two of mid is still same, and still uh, the answer will be updated to two. And says okay, two can be a possible answer for me right now. Now, if two is a possible answer, now what should I do? Now what should I do? Obviously, I know that uh, my current high is at three. My current low was at one, and the mid. Was and you know the mid was at two. I realize that two is a good answer. So now I updated my answer. Now I should search in a different range. The different range is mid plus one. And obviously, I will remain as is. What is mid plus one? Mid plus one is nothing but three. So I will reach here three and again L to H. Both left and right are nothing but three. So my mid will also land up here. If this is there, so then I will try for three. Which means that I will now try and say that try to put up three candies to each child, and let's see. So I will just say four by three, right? Three by three, seven by three, and two by three. This will give me one. This will give me one. This will give me one. So I two, and this will give me zero. So I now can get four children. I can now cater four children. I only require to cater three. So yes, I can cater four children, and that's the answer. That I can cater four children. So this is the answer. If this is the answer, I will simply say okay. Update the answer and then try for a. Obviously, if your mid is this, try for a higher value, which means now L will become mid plus one, mid plus one, and then H will remain as is, which means your high will remain as is. But yeah, now L has surpassed my H, so I should stop. So what did we exactly do in the binary search here? We just said while L is less than equals to R, you will try to find the mid, which is nothing but L plus R by two. Your simple binary search. Then you will just check. Okay. If you can distribute, if you can distribute your candies and say that uh, if you can cater mid as the maximum of candies to every child, and again when I say every, I mean k children. So in that case, you will say okay. Now I will update my answer, answer and say that mid is possible. Mid is possible, but at the same hand, I need to try for a higher number of candies because I want to maximize my answer. I want to maximize my answer, maximum of candies. So I'll try for higher. When I say higher, I will move my L to mid plus one. Why? Because already I have assigned mid, so mid is already in the answer. I just will try for a higher value now. Okay. And same way in else wise, if it is not possible, then again, rather than trying for mid only, you know, H becoming mid, I will try for H equal to mid minus one. And this is how exactly you can do a binary search. Now, why it is easier template is because you always are moving, you know. L and H uniformly. There is no confusion at all. And also, whenever you find any answer, you are assigning it to an answer variable. So this independently. So basically, your L and H independently moves from your answer, and thus, and again, both uniformly moves and independently moves from your answer. That's the reason it is much easier template to go about for your binary search. And ultimately, let's see the code. So code says that firstly, I'll find the maximum pile which is having the maximum of candies. Which is in our case, which I mentioned as M. Then I will have left and then right. I, as 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 I mentioned, that left will have you know, if you have one candy only, and then obviously if you have maximum number of candy, like maximum candy which you have. Then I'll do a simple binary search as I mentioned that by left is less than equal to right. Find the mid and then check the can distribute function. If it is possible, then assign the answer and make sure that left becomes mid plus one. Else wise, right becomes mid minus one. And again, the can distribute will simply go and do a pile by portion size. Keep on increasing the count and ultimately return that corresponding count, making sure that if the count which you got of number of children which can be catered is more than equal to k, then you got the answer, and thus time will be o of n log m and space will be o of one. Cool. Bye bye. Take care. I hope you guys got it. Make sure that we hit the like target of 100 likes. Bye bye. Take care.